Hey there, it's Chris with the uh, Blockade Pinball Podcast, doing my top five tables that I like to recommend to people that are brand new to Pinball FX3 or is just wondering what table pack should I buy next. My absolute number one pick that I recommend every single time to anybody that says anything at all. It's my pick for what I would die to see Zen and Pinball uh, uh, Arcade 1-Up combined together to make a cabinet of. Uh, that would be Aliens. It's going to be a stand-up fight, sir, or another bug hunt. So right off the bat, you can tell. It's got the actual voice call-outs, and it's got all the best voice call-outs. Just tell me one thing, Brooke. You're going out there to destroy them, right? Not to study, not to bring back, but to wipe them out. That's the plan. Yeah, man. I mean, this thing just oozes atmosphere. The art is beautiful. Look at that. It's not Photoshop. It looks hand-drawn. Uh, just the sounds. Everything about this is absolutely killer. And I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it to no end. Um, so there you go. Similar to Jurassic World, you can play select film order or uh, do whatever order you want to do with the uh, missions. I like to do film order because I'm a purist that way. What can I say? This is also happens to be one of those tables that I think could quite easily be... Uh, oh, still shot on the first time. Uh, could quite easily be converted to an actual real pinball machine. This can't be happening, man. This isn't happening. I mean, obviously there's fantasy elements that would have to uh, go away. But... By and large, I think it could be turned into a real machine. Movement! Got to locate Newt. Shoot the lit lanes to find her. These people are here to protect you. They're soldiers. Yo! your grinning and drop your linen. Found it. Just get into the sinkhole there, if I can, by the processing units. Which is a... Like all of them. There we go. And then we move into... Hey, look at this. If this doesn't look like the getaway... Ah, you gotta avoid the debris. My D&D screen is blocking out part of my site, unfortunately. Yes, folks, we're going to grind a transaxle. This is what I wish that Zen would actually do on things like High Speed to Getaway. Uh oh, here comes the aliens. Oh, I balled out. Right when I was getting good, too. Well, I wish for enhanced mode, uh, rather than playing on the DMD, I wish Zen would do exactly that sort of thing. Uh, do an enhanced DMD video mode. So this is Jared's least favorite type of uh, game, where it's Spellathon, <laughs> um, with uh, the ramps. So spelling out names, he hates those. Um, what you're doing by doing that is increasing your weaponry, firepower. Uh, it's not essential to the game, but it does help you beat modes at certain points. Speaking of modes, let's see if we can start another one. I love that the mode start hole is just right there. Hit it three times. Fantastic bumpers. The ambient of noise effects on this are, again, straight from the movie. Ball lock. 
And though it doesn't use the actual soundtrack, you almost don't even care. Ugh, that descending noise there is just chilling. Barricade sentry gun before the impending alien attack. Alright. We repair the Well placed seal over these ducks here, and here, and here. Now interestingly, one of the reasons why I kinda like this table is it reminds me a lot of the layout for Iron Man. Uh Zen oh. Iron Man, and I happen to like that table a lot too. <laughs> Alright, last ball, let's see what we can do. See if we can get another mode going. Oh, we already did them, we failed that mode though. Hardest shot on this is the Burke Ramp. This can't be happening, man. This isn't happening. She's right over there on the far right. And it is a bear to hit. And I don't know why I'm trying for it, but I am. Only to then lose the ball. There you go. That's uh, That'll end the game because of that, right? That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over. I mean, seriously. How could you not end using that? Right? Okay, let me show you the uh, other two that are in this pack. Because both of them are fantastic. Alien Isolation, my Alien other isolation. favorite. This is based off the uh, video game. Which I've never played. Because I'm not into first person shooters. A welcome committee. Well, this one's great because the alien will actually attack you while you're playing. Something is lurking in those shadows, Ripley. Be careful. It's not safe here. So now, what you have to do is you have to avoid the alien. Let's see if we can hide. If we can get into that cabinet, we'll be safe. We didn't get into the cabinet. Here he comes. If you get attacked enough times, Ripley, then the screen turns Are you bloody. Okay? So if you're wondering why she's saying Ripley, or why he's saying Ripley, it's just keep moving. Um, this is Ripley's daughter. I'll go investigate. See what I can find. Hit those, hit those flashing li lights. I got one more to hit. Where the mission hole usually is. This is perhaps also these, all these alien tables are what I most am looking forward to with the winds and implements. I have to hurry. The Williams physics. Uh, I think these will benefit the most from. Oh, failed again. See, there you go. Screen turns a little red. Alert. We 
might be in trouble. You think? Might be just a little bit in trouble. Just keep moving. Sleep well. Transit to range. Just a lot of interesting shots on this table. A lot to figure out what's going on. Ah, yes. And then you got Arkanoid. Oh, it's too hard to crack. Forgot about Arkanoid. Maybe you can find something useful in there. I can use that. Great! Awesome! Something is closing on you. Cluster Balls, a supply depot in the region. Alert! What's happening out there, Ripley? I have to hurry! I can't see it through the monitor. It's gone, Ripley. I also just think this has a really good use of uh, animation. And it just helping to tell the story. Oh, we've got a mystery package. Transits arranged. I can't hit the mystery package. Come on, get the mystery package. There we go. Much better. Oh, that was health. Need that because now my screen's not all blinky red. All right. My timer went off. I can play this for a long time if I felt like it, because I really do like this one too. But let's show you the uh, third table of the Alien versus Pinball pack. My number one pick for uh, packs to recommend to people new to Pinball FX3. So Alien versus Predator. This one, a lot of fun to play. Horrible, horrible voice work. This is enormous. Damn, that thing's up. Maybe that's a good thing? You can't be serious. So this is one of those that you can... There's mission... Uh, tasks. And then there's just games that you can light by doing the ramps. A lot of those are the exact same as what the mission actually is. Well, that's one less thing to worry about. What are those creatures doing? Good slow table though. He's good. Look at him go! He's clearly aiming at those targets now. Alright, so it's our first thing. You gotta match the runes via flipper and launch button. Get your pyramid going. So it's like a video mode without being a video mode, right? Seems the hunter just sealed the breach on the left. I don't think I've ever seen a toy like that on a real pinball machine. Pyramid is changing. Is she controlling it? Watch your step.
moving. I wanted to show you. Watch your step. Unfortunately, I'm not doing a good job of it. Uh, so one of the other modes is it actually puts you into predator vision, which changes up the whole look of the playfield. And then you got one that also does what uh, Infinity Gauntlet did with uh, turning the whole table upside down. At those targets now. That might actually save him. Only once, though. The walls are moving. Unfortunately, I don't know if I'm going to be able to show it to you guys because. Getting the light, <laughs> the uh, mission hole. Oh, look at that! We knock the wall down so we can actually attack the alien. That's always good. The walls are moving. There we go. Grab it. Boom. All right. This should give me armed and ready vertigo camouflage. This is what I want to show you. Look, he's only partially invisible. So now look at your flippers. Off. Kind of change things up a little bit. Okay, now I really can't see him. Me neither. Impressive. Now we're playing with an invisible. <laughs> this is what I say. This game really plays with the uh, the the purely in digital uh, aspect of things, which is definitely fun. So, anyway, that's enough of that. So there you have it, folks. That is my number one pick for a table pack that I always recommend to people when they are brand new to Pinball FX3. Um, whether you've seen the movies, played the game, doesn't matter. The Alien vs. Pinball is hands down the best thing Williams has put up, in my opinion. Um, love it, love it, love it. Just perfectly captures it. I'm a huge Alien. Look. I mean, I'm a huge Alien fan. So... <laughs> Um, of course, of course I'm going to, to do that. Um, Joe, there you have it. Top five packs, just in case you were coming to this one first and you wanted to know what were the other packs. So my number two pick was to uh, go with the Pinball Avengers Chronicles. My number three pick was the Bethesda Pinball Pack. My number four pick was the Carnivals and Legends pack, and my number five pick is the Jurassic World Pinball pack. There you have it. Until next time, folks. Bye-bye!